Triple receivers to the right. Coles is in the slot. Big back to throw over the middle. Bobbled and a touchdown. Jerry Kemp. That is his second touchdown grab of the season. And for Fink, that is his 20th touchdown throw of the year. Tedesco is wide right. Patterson is slot right. Motion to the left by Jones. Fink back to throw. Looks end zone wide open. And that time the Pioneers come up with a Steve Tedesco touchdown. Receivers right. Out of the gun. Farnsworth back to throw on second and eight. Looks long down the left sideline. He's got his man. Touchdown. Morgan Mazzell. Oh, it sure is. It sure is a moral victory. I mean, coming into the ball game, I mean, that off high score and offense. Third and goal from inside the two. Tedesco is wide right. Split backs. Play action pass. Fake over the middle. Touchdown, Steve Tedesco. His I second touchdown grab of the night at a late penalty marker along the near side. Joel Joseph, Seahawks left quarterback, points to the penalty marker and then turns his head in disgust, realizing that it will go against the Seahawks and Tedesco's eyes. Number 20 in the defense. That penalty's declined. We saw the play. Touchdown. Farnsworth over center. This time gives it to Smith. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown. Made the grab on third and goal from the 21. Think out of the gun. Wagner only rushes three. Over the middle. Touchdown. Tony Patterson. That is his third touchdown grab of the season. And for Fink, that is his fourth touchdown pass of the night. You know, Tony Young and Smith usually alternate series when they're both healthy. Play action pass by Farnsworth on the boot. Getting pursued by Grazade. A rooted pressure. Throws and it's intercepted by Rashad Brown. Down the near sideline. He's got a chance to take it. To the 20. To the 10. And he's into the end zone for a touchdown. Or they can throw it. Tonight, 14 carries for 92. Fake out of the gun. Loops it to the left side. It is nearly intercepted. Now, Patterson was fighting for the ball with Placide. They will say it is Seahawks ball. Placide gets credit for his first interception of the season. The Out of the gun with split backs. Think deep, pump fakes, goes end zone. He wants Tedesco, and it is a one-handed interception. What an incredible play. The Wagner Seahawks have come up with a pick, but there is a late penalty marker on the play. And will this one come back, or will it be a late hit? Ryan Pence, a sophomore defensive back from Sykesville, Maryland, comes up with his first interception. And I do believe the Seahawks will retain possession. Wow, was that an amazing catch. Because that's about the only thing they know how to do. Jones is on the right. He takes the handoff, powers his way up front, spins, turns, and then waltzes into the end zone for the touchdown. Evan Jones with a strong second effort, and it's a 41 to 20 sacred hard lead. Paul Dottino and Steven Jackson back in Fairfield, Connecticut, where Sacred Heart has defeated Wagner 42 to 20 on this Halloween night. And our Academa player of the game is running back Evan Jones. The outstanding pioneer halfback had 29 carries for 170 yards and a touchdown. And he joins us now on the sideline. Evan, before I congratulate you on a sensational night, can you give us an update on the status of your teammate, Rashard Brown? Um, Rashard, uh, when he came off the field, he gave us a thumbs up. Uh, he suffered a little neck injury, but he gave us a thumbs up. He's moving on his limbs, so my prayers go out to him. I think he's going to be all right. We're sure you had a fantastic game on the ground tonight. You showed a lot of ability to make yards after first contact. Talk to us a little bit about that. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I worked hard over the summertime, stayed up here. My old line stayed up here with me, and we were working hard all summer and just doing whatever we had to do to get it done. Now, of course, this was a very hard-fought black-and-blue kind of game. Evan, I know people are going to look at the score in the paper tomorrow at 42-20 and think that you blew them out. Wagner fought you tooth and nail. They made you work for this one. Yeah, they definitely did make us work. They came out. We knew their defense was really good. Uh, they had a bunch of guys in there, linebackers, DN. Uh, but we knew we had to come out and knew we had to do to get it done. You know, you guys had a total package tonight. You were making yards on the ground. You had Dale Fink and Troy Patterson. 
uh, Tony Patterson making big plays. Talk to us about the balance of the offense. Balance of our offense is balanced. Like everybody, our motto is everybody eats. Everybody gets a touchdown, a play, makes big plays. So everybody just feels so a part of one another. And just, you just go in there and have fun. Evan, you have improved to 8-1 on the season and 4-1 and on the conference, but still a half a game behind both Albany and Monmouth. You will play Monmouth down at the Jersey Shore next Saturday. Yes. How much are your thoughts still on trying to steal this conference championship? Um, yeah, we just want to uh, come out, play hard. We just got to finish these last two games. We can't worry about what everybody else is doing. We just got to know we got to come out and win the last two games of the season, then we just let the chips fall where they lie. Dane, talk a lot about the last two games. What do you feel that you guys have to do or what have you got in this game to build upon to finish the season strong and win those last two? Uh, we just build upon, just build up just the defense and offense and just working hard and studying film and doing all that, everything we've been doing to be 8-1. Uh, and one. Pioneers running back Evan Jones, thanks for your time. 29 carries, 170 yards and a touchdown. You put yourself over the 1,100-yard mark for the season. Yep. Thanks, Evan. I want to shout out to my mother, uh, my, uh, my godmom, Janice, my mom, my father, my brother, everybody, get my family, in, Evan. <laughs> everybody. I love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Hey, folks, make sure you get a lot of candy in his pumpkin when he gets home, okay? Well done.